to get this season started right after this. Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Opening day baseball on the show. It's the Los Angeles Angels taking on the Baltimore Orioles. John Shabby and Chris Singleton with you. So the Baltimore Orioles looking like a team that could make some noise. It's a strong roster to start the year. Where do you think they stack up among the league's best? Well, Boog, they're definitely contenders, no doubt about that. Plenty of talent on this roster. Maybe not a juggernaut, but a good team. And I think they might need to patch some holes at some point, though. Yeah, time will tell, of course, but I agree with you. They look like they're set up to play meaningful baseball all the way to game 162, maybe beyond. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. First pitch moments away. And on the mound now, Corbin Burns. The opposing hitters are going to see a lot of cutters. This guy can throw it to the front side of the plate, the back side of the plate, so you're really not able to cheat to get the fat part of the bat on the baseball. Ready to go now. So in now for the Angels, Anthony Rendon. Rendon. The 1-1. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. He was all over that one. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Now here's Aaron Hicks. Ball and another three. ball. Go ahead, run it first. Nobody out here on opening day. On the ground, right side. To second, there's He's one. Out. A sensational double play. The 3-6-1 double play, in my opinion, one of the toughest plays to make. You've got a pitcher covering first. And the middle infielder throwing to a moving target. Everything has to be perfect. And right there, they made it look pretty easy. And now batting, Mike Trout. Righty delivers. And there's a ball. Two down, nobody on. On the ground. And it goes just foul. And the right-hander deals, gets a piece, and stays alive. Two out spaces empty. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Up the middle. On the run, throw to first. In time, got him. And that'll do it. Half inning complete. We've got no score. Back here in Baltimore and towing the slab in this one, Patrick Sandoval. What do you have on him, Chris? Yeah, ZRA last year was a little worse than average, so definitely be looking for better results this season. You know, one of the keys is just being able to have a consistent delivery and to be able to repeat that delivery so you can hit the spots that you want to hit and have a higher chance of being successful. Here's the third baseman, Gunnar Henderson. And now the lefty. And a foul ball. The pitch. 
stays alive. The wind in the pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. Here's a rocket out to left. One down. Time now to take a look at the Orioles lineup put together by manager Brandon Hyde. And the key to victory for them here, get their starters some run support early. Boog, if they can get him that run support early, it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in. So put pressure on that other team right away jump out to a lead early and a few runs is going to feel like 30. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked but that's a good approach paying off. Anthony Santander at the plate. Kicks and deals. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Batting four. Ryan O'Hearn comes up to him. Two outs. In the air. Out towards left center. Trout sizes this one up. Makes the catch in and over. One left for the Orioles. Scoreless after one. And welcome back Lee to the Young ballpark. The now the left fielder, the left fielder. Taylor Ward. Taylor Ward. And it finds its way through for a hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Brandon. Just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control. And it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. Brandon Drury to the plate. Hey. Swings through that one for strike two. Ward on at first. Nobody out. Pitches in the dirt. Full count three and two. On the ground right side. Four. Six. Out. To first, but it pulls him off the bag. That is it. The first base. Well, they had the chance of turning two right there, but I don't think he got a good grip on the ball as he tried to transfer from glove to throwing hand. They say you can't assume a double play. I beg to differ at the big league level, but it's going to be ruled as a fielder's choice. Now it's the rookie first baseman, Nolan Shanowell. In the air, left field, down the line. Fair ball! Wide throw, and it gets away. On the mound, he's got to feel like he deserved a better result on that pitch. Really, I mean, just a soft liner that happened to stay fair. But even though you don't want to do it, you got to tip your cap because the guy at the plate, he found a way to fight it off and get that knock. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. And that one missing low. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. And ball another three. ball would have lay off that pitch down. Ray Ed Drummond, our umpire behind the plate in this one. Yeah, Book, he's a really fair umpire, both the pitchers and the hitters. So standard strike zone, he's consistent with it. And the great thing is you ball don't see four, players pitch, rushing yeah. the calls too much. So that's a good thing in this day and age. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boog. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. Hey. Mickey Monia, the next to hit for the Angels. And the righty deals. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. You ever caught a foul ball as a fan? Only as a broadcaster, not as a fan. You? I haven't been in many games as a fan. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. 
The Angels with a chance to score first here at the top of the second. Oh. Just missed. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate Three. so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. One runs in. Runner at third puts on the brakes. Base is still loaded and still only one away. Mission accomplished there as he picks up the RBI to yeah. give him the lead. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way. It kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked and he got it done. And a count one and two. One out, base is full. In the dirt. Nice job behind the plate there. That's inside. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Fights it off. You'll see another. Three balls, two strikes the count. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Three, two. Bounce to the right. Can't field it cleanly. Wins the race to the bag, but a run comes across. A lot going on right there. First of all, first base for making that diving stop. So many times he's looking desperately for the pitcher to feed it to, but he decides to get up and beat that base runner to the bag. Pretty impressive right there. The next pitch misses. Three balls, two strikes. Aaron Hicks up next for the Angels. Two outs, two in scoring position. And there's ball four. Now that Here's Aaron Hicks. The pitch. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. The run scores from third. It's three zip. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Here's Trout. Hey, it's still early in this ball game, but you know this at bat right here could be a big factor in the outcome. You think about it. There's a chance to really blow this thing up. Now this one's well hit. Way back there. On its way and out of here. Grand slam. A gigantic blast. And they tack on to their lead. It's 7-0. Great job here of staying within himself. You know that if you get a knock, you're going to drive in a couple. So stay focused on that. Well, he does more than just a knock. It's the grand slam to drive in four. Really good job with the play. Taylor Ward, the next to hit for the Angels. Here's a two on. Swing and a ground ball out to short. And that oh. is that. The final damage here, they bat around. Ten come to the plate, seven runs on the board. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Angels seven and the Orioles nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And into the box for Baltimore, Cedric Mullins. And the pitch. Out to short. Neto. Now the throw to first on the run. Oh. And they get Mullins for the out. Oh, nice job by the shortstop to field that on the backhand and gather himself, get his feet underneath him. He had a long throw, 
but he knew he had plenty of time to take that extra step, secure the grip, and finish the throw. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. Hit hard on the ground to short. To first. He's out. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. Batting seven. No left fielder. Austin. Two outs, base is empty. Austin Hayes. Hayes now at the plate. The Halos up big in this one. Bottom half of inning number two. Ripped on a line to center. Corrals it. And the inning is over. Orioles held in check there. They continue to trail 7 0. New inning getting started. Here's the second baseman, the second Brandon baseman. Drury. Brandon Drury. Hard ground ball base knock. And the leadoff man aboard. Nolan Shanuel, the next to hit for the Angels. The part about Burns' journey that's so interesting, former fourth-round pick out of St. Mary's where he pitched alongside Tony Gonsolin, fights that one away, still one and two. But you go back and look at Corbin Burns in 2019. He threw 49 innings and had an 8.82 ERA. Can't connect on the curveball, struck him out. Now, That's a pretty nasty That's pitch right there. I'd call it a power curveball oh, in the 80s. It's got so much spin on it, and you really don't have a lot of time to sit back and watch what it's going to do before you have to commit. It was a good one for the swinging strikeout. Now the catcher up to hit, Logan Ohapi. Three. Cuts and misses, it's a strikeout. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts, so Mickey. they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Two outs. Swing and a miss struck him out. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one left. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Angels seven and the Orioles nothing. Set for the bottom of the Leading third off. and Orioles. stepping in is the speedy Jorge Mateo. Mateo. On the ground to short. On to first. That's six straight set down. Batting none. The second baseman. Jordan. At the play, Jordan Westberg. The Orioles with a lot of ground to make up here in the last half of the third. On the ground, right side. Gathers and throws to first. And two straight set down to begin third the bottom of the third. Two. Good fade and sinking Gunner. action of that changeup. Got that hitter to Henderson. roll over. Now the third baseman, Gunnar Henderson. The Angels up big in this one here in game one of this three-game set. And that one got Perfect. a piece of him. Well, the bright side is that that will help the on-base percentage a little bit, and that's a category no batter can ignore these days. OBP, OPS, well, maybe that'll ease the pain just a little bit. Big stack center field. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. That's back-to-back -back yeah, singles for him. You will often hear the phrase, short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. And that's the third out. Orioles strand a couple, not going their way. It's 7 nothing. Welcome back, and now on the mound to start the fourth, Keegan Aiken. Well, they didn't get much length out of their starter in this one, so they've got a lot of outs to eat up in that bullpen. I think they'll look for some length out of him right here if they can get it. So digging in, Zach Neto. The pitch. And a good eye there. Chris, you played here in 2002. What are the memories that stand out 
as to being a member of the Baltimore Orioles. For me, it was just pulling into the parking lot and having those that were there with a, an encouraging smile or a pat on the back, regardless of how things were going, it made it a lot easier to come to the ballpark, whether you were doing well or you were struggling. And then the way that they treated your family. I mean, this is a great place to play, and I'd say it's got to be one of the top places in all of baseball. So the batting order turns over. Anthony Rendon, the next to hit. Base is empty one away. Top half of inning number four. And you had a cameo in the movie Moneyball as an Orioles player in a highlight clip. Inside, almost got him. One down, base is empty. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Now this is in the air down the line. And that lands in no man's land, a foul ball. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. In the air out to center, Mullins in position. Calls it in for the out. Now that designated hitter, Aaron. It's Aaron Hicks now. Yep. And that's off that's inside. the inside edge. Two and one. And he hits a ground ball right side, and that's just foul. Two down, nobody on. Here in game one of this three-game set. Ground ball to the right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Angels go quietly there, but they're still in control. It's 7-0. Bottom of the inning. Leading so now the Orioles cleanup Orioles. hitter, Ryan O'Hearn. First baseman. And a 1-1. One -one. That one pushed to the left and foul. He's been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. and misses struck him out no need to deviate from the slider right there the hitter just not making the adjustment he came at him now with the breaking out. ball pitch no, after three. pitch and that at bat That's and three. evidently there was no answer for it Muller. left hand batter waits swing it a foul straight back and a pitch and down on strikes he goes. And there are two outs. And now the DH, now that, Ryan Mountcastle. Ryan Mountcastle. 1-1 one, one now. Chop to third. The throw to first. Three up, three down, inning over. Back now at Oriole Park. We go to the top of the fifth. And now here's the speed threat. Outfielder Mike Trout. A pitch in for a strike. Now one and two. Right side. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. One up, one down. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Now Got out in front a little bit. Mike rolled over on it and Taylor. beat it into the ground. Ward. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Taylor Ward. <whistles> On the ground to the left, Mateo. 
sends it across the first, and the first two set down in the top of the fifth. Two outs, base is empty. And next for the Angels, Brandon Drury. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. Bounce to the left side. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Angels held in check. And they hold a 7-0 lead. We head to the Leading bottom of the fifth, four, and now it's Austin Hayes. No left field. Austin Hayes. The one-one is fouled off. The wide to kick the pitch, and down on strikes, and that's the first out. The batter, number three. Jorge Short Mateo ball. now. Jorge. We talk about guys with Mateo. good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Next pitch is outside. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks He's that out. they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he now just takes it away. Well, he's doing a nice job of You're keeping ahead. the ball out of the air, oh lets the God. defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. So next to hit for Baltimore, Jordan Westberg. Sharp just to strike away from five shutout innings. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Ward sizing this one up. Squeezes it. That is the inning. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Mike Bauman. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. Gets it to first. One up, one down. The batter, the catcher, Logan. Oh, Logan Ohapi, the next to hit for the Angels. The 1-1. One -one. Slider oh, misses outside. Count. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. Wouldn't Three chase balls. that time. Back-to-back -back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. I got three and two. And the pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. One down, base is empty. The 3-2 is That's off the ball. outside edge, and that is ball four. Oh, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the Mickey second time he's taken ball four. Monia. And next for L.A., Mickey Monia. The next ball. offering misses. Two balls, two, two, balls, strikes. two strikes. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. On the ground left side, six, four. Out. Three, it's a double play, and that'll do it for the end. Three up, three down that time. Top of the order, two up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Angels seven and the Orioles nothing. Bottom of the sixth. Here's the Orioles leadoff hitter, Gunnar Henderson. Third baseman, Gunnar Henderson. Here's a high chopper. Whips it to oh. first. One away, bottom of the sixth. 
The catcher, number 35, Adley. Here's Adley Rutschman. Rutschman. And here it comes. Swing and a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He now looks that. locked in. I right really like the approach of that swing. That was a good change up on the corner, but he recognized it early, did get jumpy, and just smacked it to the opposite field. The pitch. Yeah. Swings through the fastball up in the zone. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one. Drury to second. There's He's one down. on the first double play, and that's the inning. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Angels seven and the Orioles nothing. And we're back. Leading Here's the, the shortstop at the play. Zach Neto. Zach Neto. Ground ball oh, left side. Foul. And foul ball. Three. Twings and misses. It's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and the just bunched him up six. on the inside part of Anthony. the plate. Couldn't get around on it and Rendell. catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes got because it. they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've now got that, him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Hicks. Did a nice job right there. Aaron Hicks at the plate. The Halos up big in this one here in the top half of inning number seven. Aye. That one finds the zone. One and two. Well, two outs and a chance to put up a zero on the scoreboard here, and that's not something that's come easy for this staff in this one. With two out and nobody on, you want to go right after this guy. He's the number two hitter, which means if he gets on, you've got some. Now ah, that's strike three and the third out. So we take a break. Nothing doing for the offense that time. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Angels seven and the Orioles nothing. Back here in Baltimore, off. set for the Orioles last half of the seventh. Here's the, the Orioles cleanup baseball. hitter, Ryan O'Hearn. This lineup is having a tough time finding a good rhythm at the plate. Their swings are disjointed, which tells me they're having issues with pitch recognition. Left hand hitter waits. Not even close two there. Two and two. Out there to center. Trout settles under it. Puts it away for the out. Up next for the Orioles, the center fielder, Cedric Mullins, the next to hit for the Orioles. This pitcher's done a good job of disrupting the hitter's timing with the mix of pitches and changing speeds. You want to keep that front foot inconsistent for the batter. Their swings are hesitant, and that's exactly what you want on the mound. One down, base is empty. Good job to fight that one off. One two. Swing and a miss. Curveball in the dirt. Out on the He's drop. Out. Third strike. Two gone. Perfectly executed 12 6 no curveball no right six. there. And with that kind That's of break, if you can drop it in Whoa, below yeah. the zone like that, it's going to look like a strike the entire way coming in and then just disappear. So hard to get under the ball unless you're really gearing up for it and you might need a pitching wedge. Hard hit left side. Throw off line. He's safe. And a nice job there to keep it from getting away. Well, fortunately, they've got a big lead on the scoreboard, so that error shouldn't hurt too much. But you have to be careful about losing concentration in a game like this. It can be an easy trap to fall into. 
So two down, Austin Hayes, the next to hit for the Orioles. In two the ball, dirt, and the count two and one. And another ball. A swing and a miss as he chases way out of the zone. Activity in the bullpen for the Angels. Luis Garcia, the hard throwing righty, is up and loose of it. Simber also getting ready. In the dirt, but kept close. Over to first, out with room to spare, and that's the inning. Still in total command on the mound with seven shutout innings. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Angels seven and the Orioles nothing. We go to the eighth. Here's Mike Trout. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports too. And he deals. Swing a miss. And it's one and two. One ball. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low end fastball for some pitchers. Up the middle. Sneaks through. Base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. The left fielder, Once you get the ball by the pitcher, Taylor. there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. That's in for a strike at 95. One and two. Ground ball right side could be two. It's in and out of his glove. Goes to second. Safe there. Now it's the second now baseman, that, Brandon Drury. Brandon Drury. Pitching change here, CNL Perez. And we all know about his slider. Yeah, it's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Here's a 1-1. One, one. And one. another ball. You know, these Angels, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. We've heard lots of loud noise coming from their bats, and this one happened. Westberg. Off balance speed, there's one. Onto O'Hearn, two. That's well, a huge pitch right there. It looked like it was going to be a big inning, but you get the double play. I guess you'd say here's a chance for the next guy to pick up his teammate, though. Now that Nolan Shonowell, the, the next to hit Nolan. for the Angels. Shonowell. The pitch. Swing and a miss. And a count, one and two. One ball, two strike. Ground ball up the middle. And a base hit knocks in a run. Comes through yeah, with the RBI. Just, just kept it simple. Played Logan. Pepper with the middle of the infield and oh, took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. So in now for the Angels. Hit on the ground to the right side. A dive. Nice stop. Oh. And that's a great play for the out. That was a great job of doing the math. He had the perfect angle. Diving stop. Completes the play. And that ends the inning. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we now roll into the bottom of the eighth. Luis Garcia. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Jorge Mateo digs in now. The 1 1. That to right. And it drops in. So a runner aboard to start the inning. The batter. The second baseman, Jordan Westberg. And now here is Jordan Westberg. When the leadoff man gets on, you want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. And another ball. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. 2-2 two -two now. Hell Wouldn't chase four. that time. Oh. 
And he walked him. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Here's the third baseman, Gunnar Henderson. Ball to strike. Hard right, grounder into the outfield for a knock. Mateo coming home. Well done. Drives in the run. Everyone's trying to elevate the ball in today's game, but if you can hit a ball that hard on the ground, it's going to find some holes. Now the Orioles catcher, Adley Rutschman. That one three. close ruled the ball. Three balls, and the count is three and one. You know, these Orioles, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. And there's one down. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all now of the pass. swings and misses. Right He's had him eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all game. Two on with one out. Anthony Santander getting ready to hit. Lined in the left center, and that should be extra bases. One run is in around third. He'll score. Two runs are in, and it's 8-3. That ball was absolutely ripped, 111 off the bat, and I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat. I think I heard that too, Boog, and these are the moments we appreciate with new pitcher in the game for the Angels, Adam Simba. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. Brings it in. Runner tagging for third. Drury with a relay throw hey. in there safely. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive now it. The center fielder. And now, Cedric Mullins. Muller. Two outs. That's a ball. Movement in the bullpen. Number 59. Up and loosening in the pen. There's a swing and a drive. In one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. Now around second, going for third. The relay throw, not in time, he's safe. And a run comes in to score. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key, you still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. And it's scored position with two away. Next is the designated hitter, Ryan Mountcastle. In there at the knees. The Angels leading by four. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. Simber is ready. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. So four runs on four hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Angels eight and the O's four. Back here with my we pal Siggy. We go to the ninth. The right so in now for the Angels, Mickey Moniak. Mickey. Yeah, that's outside and a count two and one the only adjustment he needs to make is his target if you aim at the outside corner that slider's going to end up way off the plate perhaps look a little more down the middle and you get it right where you want it spoils that one and it remains two and two a 
on the ground and it goes just foul hanging in there pretty good against the lefty the 2 2 and they'll do it again. Here comes a pitch. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. Well, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer or Uncle Charlie, and you can see why. It's not a looping slow curve. He throws it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. Towards first. And he takes oh. it himself for the out. Up next for the Angels, the third baseman, Anthony Back Rendon. to the top of the lineup. Now it's Anthony Rendon. Two down, nobody on. Here at the top of the night. This to third. Tosses across oh. the first. That takes care of Rendon. And that is that. Offense held a check there. Bottom part of the order. 7 8 9. Two up in inning number nine. It's the Angels eight and the O's four. Bottom of the nine. Here's the left fielder, Austin Hayes. Right hander kicks deals. Swing and a miss, and that one missed by a ton. Man, that was pretty gross right there. And another ball. And that's in the dirt. And now three and two. Light drive, calls it in, and there's one away. Nothing you can do about those as a hitter. Even though you know that, they still drive you absolutely crazy. And next for the Orioles, Jorge Mateo. One down, base is empty. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Now a bunt with two strikes, Three. and that goes foul. It's a strikeout. So they're down to their now final back. out. Jordan Westberg will hit next. Right-handed reliever. Ripped on a line. He's got it. Ball game. And the Angels collect their first win of the season. All these hitters got the bats going early with a huge second inning, and they never really looked back. When you have that type of focus, your confidence grows, and you just expect to go out and dominate and win each inning, and then on top of it, the ball game. And our final here today, 8-4. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you 